confirms that his body made that adjustment to start to catch him. Punch on him. And he's gotten a big lead on my scorecard. And you would think on the official scorecards. 12th and final round. 20 and 0 is Usmani. Grew up in Afghanistan. Witnessed his father's death from a Soviet bomb. Moved to Canada. Trying to reach his dream as a successful pro fighter. Taking on Bartholomew, former Cuban national team star who moved to the U.S. 17-0. As he continues to just throw punch after punch. And Bartholomew squared up and now falling forward into the arms of Usmani. You know, I always wondered if Usmani is wearing down. It's Bartholomew that's wearing down. Bartholomew that's hanging on. Bartholomew that looks like his gas tank is going towards the E. Bartholomew who's in trouble. Again, look at Bartholomew. Walks right in, gives up his height. Now he's turning southpaw. He's desperate. He's looking for magic. But look how square he is. Look, look at his money. Look at, and look at the heart and determination. But look at the little subtle thing. It's body moving his feet. Giving himself rage. He doesn't get tied up. He doesn't get smothered. He gives himself distance to keep those hands moving. Keep that offense going. And he plays these shots. Upstairs, downstairs. Punch after punch after punch just digging in. And now the uppercut is there for his body. Because that's... But that will be leading forward. That uppercut is there for Usmani if he throws it. Who wants it more? Usmani's answering with a definitive yes. Not just who wants it more. Who's got more left? Usmani with a definitive yes has more left. A sustained offensive attack from the Afghani. Plenty of heart from Bartholomew. Let's not forget that. But plenty of heart and also plenty of good strategy and good effective thinking and producing by those He's moving those feet, giving himself room to punch, keeping distance. Give him enough range where he doesn't get smothered. He can keep that flow. Good right hand came in there. Bartholomew, last ditch effort, 20 seconds to go. You know his money's going to take it right to the bell. Holding behind the head there as he looks to play something. They're going to bring it home here. Final 10 seconds. If you forgot what it's all about, welcome back to Friday Night Fights. Arash Usmani, spirited effort throughout against Rancis Bartholomew. We will come back and hear from the judges, but just enjoy one last look at how they wrapped it up. Is landing 258 power punches. Teddy scorecard. Remember the first two rounds. Easily Bartholomew with the jab working, taking advantage. Then he turned it off. And the pressure and steady work rate of Usmani took over. Teddy says it's 117, 111. Let's find out. Two undefeateds came in. Bob Alexander with the results. Ladies and gentlemen, from stage 305 at the Magic City Casino in Miami, Florida, after 12 exciting rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Judge Rick Bay scores the bout 115-113. Judges Rich Green and Valerie Dorsett both score the bout 116-112. For the winner, by unanimous decision... Rensets! Cuban national team star 
who fights here out of Miami, just got a gift against Arash Usmani, the Afghani who fights out of Canada, who worked so hard from the third round on. You, the fans at home, had it in the hands of Usmani with the online scoring. Usmani just jumped out of the ring and is leaving here in disgust. Can you believe that? They gave it to Bartholomew. When are we going to have a federal commission? When are we going to have what other sports have? Dignity, integrity, honesty for the policing, for this sport, for these game warriors that put themselves on the line. When is the federal government going to step up and take it away from this corrupt system that we have in boxing? In the ring, it was great. And then you hear the scores. Tremendous effort from Usmani. Bartholomew gets the win. Sports Center is up next for Teddy Atlas, Bernardo Suna, and Todd Grisham. I'm Joe.